back to the radio platform for me because I felt like it was such a tremendous opportunity for local businesses to be able to spend some time on the radio talking about themselves and their passion for their business. You know, it's not an opportunity that businesses get. It's not available to them. They have to do advertising the old-fashioned way, which is a different animal, really. Mm -hmm. It's the 15 to 60-second advertisings. It's, it's a whole schedule of when they're aired. It's a great system. It's very, it works very effective for people, but they still don't have the platform to be able to talk about to get that longer-form content, you know, or even sh you know shorts, which are less, less than 60 seconds, that really kind of get into a nugget that they want to share. It's, it's all about selling, right? When mm -hmm. you go on the radio, it's sell, 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 you know what I mean? In between other people's content, you're selling, but to be able to sell yourself by selling your story and why you do what you do was something that was not available. And again, is not available on the platform that I just left. So it's a little sad. Yeah. And I feel like modern commercials, the way we see them now on TV and on radio were built for the eighties and nineties when you had kind of a captive audience, they were watching TV. They had no choice, but to watch the commercials. Yeah. So the psychology of it was to get in your sales pitch as quick as possible and as effectively as possible. But nowadays, I mean, people have so many options. We, I pay not to have commercials yeah. on most of my streaming platforms and people want to know, like, and trust the businesses they work with because we've all been burned by a business that that seemed too good to be true and it turned out it was so getting to know businesses and people on a personal level gives you that extra layer of knowing that hey you know i've heard from them i feel like i can really trust them therefore i'm going to use them not because they do this one thing but because i heard them and i know their why because to me, if you have a true passion behind what you do, or if you have a true reason for it, you know, you may not super love pest control. That may not be the thing, because I think we interviewed someone with pest control last time. Um, but if you've got a true reason for wanting to help people and wanting to grow as a person through this vehicle in business, I can get behind that. Well, or and to execute on services in a way that makes them feel good but hey i'm delivering like uh you know sterling for example mm -hmm. is a great example because he said he was like you could tell he's passionate about what he does he's, he's perked up you know and he's like this is what we do that's unique in this space mm. and, and that's i love to see that i love to see that joy that that fervor for what they're doing come out it's addicting for me that's why i did the show in the first place yeah and he's a great example because not only is he you know doing a service to help people but he saw a need and he went out and found a unique way to fulfill that yeah. need that almost everybody in this city and most southern states yeah. need. You know, he has that mosquito box that looks like a plant. It's non-toxic. And I've never heard it. And after the show, I, I kicked myself for not asking him this. But I was like, who else is doing this in the city? He said, no one. Yeah. I was like, why didn't we say that on the show? No, he did. I think he said that. Well, and I hear him a lot because mm -hmm. I, I go to network lunches with him. But he talks about that he's the only one that offers it as part of the quarterly service mm -hmm. that they do. So basically, you can have those mosquito traps year round. They're non-toxic and they work continuously, reducing the, you know, the mosquito load around in your neighborhood by like 90% or some crazy number like that. And having less mosquitoes is, I'm thinking it's a good thing, but you know what? Maybe it's not. I mean, maybe there's something hidden in there that we don't know that we actually need mosquitoes for. I don't know what that could be. Know, but Maybe you want West Nile virus? Like, yeah. I, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I've always thought that. Like, oh, well, Nobody wants to get bit by them. That's for danger. No. But I don't know. 